Good morning and welcome to your Wallops Weather Briefing. Well, we have wonderful conditions out there this morning, mostly sunny skies. It was a little humid as we woke up this morning, but those humidity levels will be going down over the course of the day. And although we'll see temperatures warming into the mid 80s, it'll feel pretty comfortable out there for the most part. Looking at conditions across the region yesterday, we saw temperatures generally running in the 80s for daytime highs, 88 degrees, the warmest of all the reporting stations throughout the region, 84 degrees here at Wallops for our daytime high, and then overnight last night we saw temperatures dip into the 70s, 71 degrees in Baltimore, 76 degrees, a very mild evening here at Wallops. Over the past 24 hours, just a trace of precipitation reported at Washington, D.C., everybody else remaining dry. And as of 9 a.m., we see temperatures generally right around 80 degrees, mostly sunny skies here at Wallops. Looking at the information from this morning's balloon release, the freezing level was at 15,440 feet. And our winds generally out of a northwesterly direction at the low levels of the atmosphere, coming westerly in direction as we go up in height, where we see a west-northwesterly wind at the 25,000 foot level at 32 knots. Taking a quick look at our, our uh, infrared satellite here this morning, you can see a little bit of mid and upper level cloudiness streaming over the region, and uh, that's going to continue to uh, do so over the course of the next few hours as we see this frontal boundary pushing a little farther to the south. We'll actually see a little bit more clearing as we go into the afternoon today, where we'll average out under mostly sunny skies. Quick look at the radar, not showing anything in our region to be concerned with and not going to expect any uh, precipitation today or for the next several days as we enter a pretty dry period here as we go into the weekend. Looking at the current surface analysis, that frontal boundary just pushing through the region currently, uh, seeing those winds out of a northwesterly direction as that front moves through the area and also seeing a more dry, less humid air mass work its way into the region as well. As we go through the next couple of days, you can see by this afternoon that frontal boundary will be focused uh, down toward the outer banks of North Carolina. You could see a few showers and thunderstorms uh, throughout that region later on this afternoon, but all of that activity will stay well to the south of Wallops, where we'll see mostly sunny skies this afternoon and then mostly clear skies later on this evening as we see that frontal boundary uh, continue to push its way south and see that high pressure build in from the north. We will see the uh, mostly clear skies overnight tonight under a more dry air mass, uh, allowing our temperatures to fall a lot farther than they did last night. Probably see low, low temperatures about 15 degrees cooler than last night. As we get into the uh, time period on Friday, we'll see that high pressure dominate the uh, Wallops flight facility weather as we'll see mostly sunny skies dry conditions and uh, less humid conditions as well. It'll feel very pleasant out there tomorrow with a daytime high right around that 80 degree mark. Going into the weekend, more of the same as high pressure continues to hang along the mid-Atlantic coast and we'll see dry conditions for Saturday and Sunday. So a beautiful Father's Day weekend coming up. Also, Ocean City Air Show weather looks very nice as well with uh, very little threat of any kind of precipitation. We'll see dry conditions through the weekend under mostly sunny skies. So taking a quick look at the next 24 hours, uh, no hazards to be concerned with. Uh, again, we'll see that humidity start to decrease as well during the afternoon. So although we'll get up to about 85 degrees, it will feel pretty comfortable out there for the most part. Overnight tonight, temperatures falling into the low to mid 60s, 63 degrees, the overnight low temperature expected uh, for tonight. And again, those northwesterly to westerly winds will continue over the next 24 hours VFR conditions. Uh, expected as well. Looking at Friday's weather, expecting mostly sunny and pleasant conditions with a daytime high of 81 degrees. Friday night, we'll see that temperature dip into the low 60s, looking for a low of 63. And then for Saturday, sunny and warm conditions with a daytime high of 83 degrees. So for the next seven days, expecting this dry weather to continue into the first part of next week, seeing a gradual warm up as well, a little bit more humid conditions expected later this weekend, especially as we go into the first part of next week where we're expecting some pretty uh, unseasonably warm conditions uh, to arrive here at Wallace with those highs making their way into the low 90s uh, by Monday, looking for a high of 91. Those overnight low temperatures only dropping into the mid 70s 
and then we'll enter the chance of some showers and thunderstorms possibly by Tuesday night as we'll see a frontal boundary begin to uh, slowly move through the area. We'll be dropping south through the region and expecting a better chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms during the day on Wednesday of next week. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.